Welcome to Extra Extra, presented by the DG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. No filter. Very sincere. No singing, but some dancing was taking place. No singing, but some dancing was taking place. Uh, I just want to say it is that time again that I have to continue maintaining, keeping the promise to myself. I really, really do. Noobs, hang on tight. You in for a wild, wild ride. Regs, you know what time it is. I got to maintain the promise to myself. And also, I saw something that I seen before. How, how, eh, 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 ver. It's still something that I can't do. Not something that I want to do. Not something that I wish to do. It is something that I know I can't do. And I'm okay with not being able to do it. Even though I'm a huge, firm believer in personal growth and pushing past your limits. Noobs and noob, thank you for uh, hanging in there. Thank you for giving me the opportunity, even if it was by mistake, on purpose, or you are ejecting now. I'm, I'm uh, grateful that you're giving me an opportunity to shot. That's the only thing I got for. Regs, you know what time it is. Regs, you know what we are about to do. This feels like Every single day, but it's not every single day. It just feels that way because we have a special, 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 unique bond. Sharing is caring. Side note, you shouldn't share everything. Free advice, you shouldn't share everything. More advice, you shouldn't share everything. But we don't know what to call it. Special, unique bond that we don't know what to call it. However, we will retroactively say this is what it is. This is what it was. And this is what it will be moving forward in the future when we figure out what to call it. But that is for the future us to determine, decide, and to figure out the past and present us. We just going to keep it moving and say that one day, one insert time period, we will know what it is, but until then, it is something special. It is something that we know how it feels and it makes us, and we okay with that. We okay with that. Nonverbal communicating peeps. That wasn't for you. That was for everybody else who can't communicate nonverbal or nonverbally. That's the end game. That's the goal. Those are the standards. And speaking of standards, I made a promise long, long, long ago to myself, uh, noob that's still here, that I would never, ever, 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 ever run out of petrol again. Never, ever, ever run out of fuel again. That walk of shame was something that I wasn't prepared for. That walk of shame was something that burns deep in my soul to this day. It keep me up late at night. Nights where I think I can go to sleep, I'm up again thinking about that walk of shame cold sweat break out sometime i get a charlie horse sometime i get a crook in my neck it all depends or it's all in the above and it all stems from some things and one of those things be me having a nightmare or a daymare or running out of petrol again because that feeling is something that i don't ever ever want to feel again and i ignored all the indicators i ignored all the bells and whistles i ignored the light however i did understand and figure out that little light mean oil and not water that's a different story for another day that's already been told so ain't no need to sell it again you can go back and review the historical documents but i'll give you the vince's notes because i'm cool like that long 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 ago when i didn't know any better i still don't know any better but i know a little bit more 
I thought the little sign that came on for oil meant water. So I put water in my engine and yes, it ended just like you think it ended. And no, I didn't make the promise to myself or not to blow up any more engines because from that point, I still blew up three more and my nickname or one of my nicknames is Destroyer of Engines and I'm okay with that. I am cool with that. I am fine with that. That doesn't keep me up late at night. It doesn't make me feel different or keep me in my feelings. None of that. I'm okay with that. It's not something that I'm going to go out and do. It's not something that I'm going to show that I'm an expert on until you ask for my expert opinion, then I will give you my expert opinion on how to destroy engines, how to not maintenance engines, how to blow up engines and what have you. I can do a hold talk on it if needed be. I can do an entire talk on it if needed be. So you know my services are available if you need to know some or if you want some inside information or if you just want to know more. Reach out virtually and let me know what you want to know. How, 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 eh, 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 eh. Bird-like voice. However, you got to let me know where you're coming from. You got to pinpoint uh, where all this stems from. You got to give me some context clues. And you just got to straight up tell me what it is you speak of. Because I cannot master the mind reading game. I can do anticipation. I can do uh I can do nonverbal communication. I can do the instincts. I can do the intuition, but the mind reading, I'm just not I'm not efficient enough to be an expert. I'm not patient enough to be a novice either. So you just got to tell me. And that's the Vince's note on that. But I made a promise to myself that I wasn't going to blow. Yeah, I wasn't going to blow. And actually, that's that's neither here nor there. I was going to say blow up an engine. I was going to try to play it off, but I'm not going to play it off. I'm just going to go ahead and admit I misspoke because I'm okay with misspeaking and sometimes saying something that I didn't mean because I have to maintain being a truth teller. I just can't say stuff to say stuff. I can't just throw stuff out there and expect not to be challenged and, and expect not to have it come back and bite me if I meant something else and it came out a certain way. Uh-uh. The promise I made to myself was not to run out of petrol. I didn't make the blow up engines thing. Once again, that's somewhat of a badge of honor because I'm an expert. Running out of the petrol, that feeling is something I don't ever want to feel again. I don't ever, ever, ever want or wish that upon my worstest or best of friend or best of enemies. None of that. They don't deserve that. They don't deserve that. In fact, I got to carry it. For the rest of my life, that is something that I can't sleep with. That is something I can barely stay awake to. That is something that is on my mind 99.900% of the time. That is something that make me feel some kind of way. That is something that makes me a little bit perturbed. I had all of the indicators influencing me and letting me know that it's time. I ignored them. I thought I had a little bit more left. I did not have a little bit more left. And when the car actually stopped on me and wouldn't go anymore, at least it was in a spot where the walk wasn't that long. At least it was in a spot where the street was right there and everybody saw. So everybody saw and wanted to say something, they could say something. They could toot their horn. They can, they, can, they can wave at me. They can laugh. They can giggle. They can cry. They can do whatever they needed to do to make them feel better about themselves and make me feel a little bit not good about myself because that was the situation called or that's what the situation that they wanted to present and I had no control over it whatsoever because I had to go and get that patrol. I had to go and get that petrol. 
I could have had my vehicle getting petrol. It could have been like a regular person getting petrol, but I decided against that on purpose. Did I want to do the walk of shame or uh, but did I ignore the bells and whistles? You betcha. So I did that on purpose. I thought I had a little bit more time. I thought I had a little bit more mileage. I thought I could go a little bit more better father. And I said more better father because I want to create another saying. I want to create another saying. More better father. I wanted to. I thought I had enough. I did not. I'm getting out of my vehicle. I'm getting my little gas thing, which I didn't have. So I had to go walk and get one. And then I had to walk a different direction to go to the actual petrol store or gas station to actually get some fuel. And then I would say the person there had the audacity to school me or sun me into the proper way of putting petrol in a, in a container. But I don't have no right to push back. I have no right to clap back because obviously I need some help. Because if I didn't need no help, I wouldn't be in that position to begin with. I wouldn't be the dude at the store with a container getting petrol. If I had a, a little more further distance in my uh, synapses system working according to plan or working like it should. Basically, the person there working at the store. They had every single right to school me on how in the proper way of putting petrol in a can, putting petrol in a container, because obviously I don't know how to put petrol in things. So it's obvious. Ain't no need to get upset. was no need for me to get mad. I didn't get mad. I didn't get upset. I just roll with it because, yeah, tell me I need to learn. I need to experience all this because I'm going to remember it forever. What's your name? Okay, I will remember you forever. I'll see you in my dreams. What? Yes, I will see you forever in my dreams. And I'm talking about the forever that lasts all the time that don't ever, ever go away. I wasn't bothered by uh, being uh, told to put the container down and then put the petrol in and doing it that way. And it wasn't, and I'm not going to say either way if I knew or I didn't know, because that's besides the point. Obviously, I need help. Obviously, I am the one who need to be told things multiple times because obviously the first couple of times it just doesn't register. Obviously the first couple of times it just doesn't reach me. Obviously the first couple of times it just don't compute, no compute, don't compute. I don't get it. The experience is the best teacher. In that situation, it definitely was. I end up getting the petrol. I did it the way he told me to do it. And I had to walk back to my vehicle. Everybody was letting me know things. They were letting me know how proud they were of me by making that walk. They were letting me know by playing music sometime, singing the songs to me sometime, uh, waving sometime, just uh. Uh, giving me giving me a, a standing ovation sometime, yelling out the window sometime. I mean, it was all sorts of things that was happening that people was letting me know that they appreciated the things that I was doing for myself in that position. And at that point, I ain't never felt like that again. I don't ever, ever want to feel like that again. That is something. That is something. Everybody ain't built for it. That is something that does not create broad shoulders. That is something that ain't a learning experience that need that needed by anybody. That is something that make people do things that they don't need to be doing. That is something that make people question reality. That is something that make people think about how is the IQ actually tested to begin with. If there even is such a thing as IQ, that 
is something that you make you question everything. There ain't no more universal truths. There ain't any more facts anymore. Everything is subject to investigation. Everything is subject to testing. Testing? Uh-uh. You better test that again. Testing? Mm-mm. I don't believe them tests. I don't believe your tests. I got to see this with my own eyes and then I got to see it some more and I got to do it again. I got to repeat it again. And if it ain't the same, not one, not two, not three, not four times, I got some questions. I got more and more questions. Yeah, so it's that time again. It's that time again for me to get to Petro. I'm a little bit early because the bells and whistles haven't indicated to me that I need to do this. How, how, eh, 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 ver. I am prepared. I am prepared for the worst. I am prepared for pure chaos. I am prepared for the epic journey. I am prepared for the advantageous adventure. Whatever the universe is going to throw at me for this petrol journey, for this petrol ride, I am ready. But there's one thing I'm not ready for, and that's that walk of shame. Ever, ever, ever again. No, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Be sure to check out the website at extra extra vdgsports.com. That is XTRA, XTRA, VDG, SPRTS dot COM. There's a YouTube as well. Extra extra VDG, XTRA, XTRA, VDG. Uh, like, subscribe, share, comment if you must, comment if you may. We clap back. Yeah, we clap back. Noob, that's still here, that giving me a chance is going to give me some more chance because I see the growth is happening. Thank you very much. You know what to do. As in now, you know what to do. You know how we operate. You know how it works. Come back again or not. But thanks anyway. Regs and reg that used to be a noob. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It is time for something a little bit different. So I'm just going to say bye. Bye.